All right, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a comparison between Max's Unwrap UVW modifier and uh, Hedis UV Leo. So we'll start by, uh, I'll just have a very simple test object here. So we'll start by uh, applying the Unwrap UVW. Okay, so we'll set up our seams first. So I'll just select an edge, loop. Select an edge loop, convert edge selection to seams. Set Alt W to maximize. We'll just select this, loop that, and convert it to a seam. Now I'm going to go into, uh, I'm sorry, I'll just add one more at the back here. Loop, convert it. Oh, we didn't want that one. So we didn't want these here, so we can go to edit seams. And just alt click to remove that. And now you can see it's gone. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go into live peel mode here. So um, this is quite similar to. Uh, sorry, I'll just undo that and select the face. And now you can't. You can't see the face there. If you press F2, you can toggle shaded faces. So I'll expand that to a face selection and into peel mode. So we have that selected control light to invert your selection and just move that out of the way. Now I'm going to just remove all these, uh, go into vertex mode. And just remove those pins. Now, if we uh, apply the checker pattern, just forget about this for a moment. You can see it's all distorted from the, the default peel. That's because if I turn on display edge distortion, you can see the red edges are all distorted, they show up as red green ones are good, orangey brown is kind of in between so you can see the, the mesh is compressed and stretched at the same time because of the tension here, the corners so we we'll, let, uh, we're still in live peel mode, we can just select these edges that we want to add in And once we click the convert edge selection to seams, it'll automatically repeal. So I'm just gonna rotate, sorry. I'll just rotate that up so you can see a bit better. You can still see that. Well, we've very minimal distortion. Like it has done a pretty good job. And you're probably wondering, oh, but what about all these cuts and seams? But really, you know, most people are painting seams out in 3D painting programs, Mary Mudbox ZBrush, even in Max from the uh, viewport canvas. So. It doesn't really matter as much anymore. Plus, if you, you know, display some maps or whatever, if you're worried about edge artifacting and that, you know, a 32 bit display some map, you just from ZBrush or whatever, you're just not going to get it. Right, so I might as well just finish off this. Um, we'll select, uh, select these two and just quick peel them. And we'll just select this, expand it, and quick peel that. Now we can grab all the elements, rescale them, and pack them. Now we'll just um, go out of this, open up the material editor, and 
just going to add this uh, UV grid bitmap I just downloaded from Google. So we'll open that, apply this show map and viewport, and we'll add some tile. Let's say four, four. So we can see now Max has actually it's done a pretty good job, you know. Some of these tools in the newer versions. So I think from Max 2012 onwards, they, they, they have really improved. But um, you know, it's it's done a pretty good job. So we'll just uh, we're just gonna shift drag, copy this, and we'll call it Headis. Okay. Now we'll just delete that modifier add our bog standard material back in and now I'm using that oops I'm using this script here you can just read the details a couple of different blogs are involved and it's been updated and edited but this is my favorite version by any Max users will probably know this blog script driving me out he's some great scripts but um so all the instructions are here but basically you just want to download the .mzp file and then just a max drag it into your viewport and this icon will be automatically created so click that and it's very simple to use obviously you have to have headers <laughs> installed so if I had have left the unwrap uvw on I would have put this radio button to edit and that would have used the existing UVs and headers but I'm gonna just go to new map channel one this is all fine poly no problem send selection so our model is automatically sent to headers and I just have a little text notepad file here with the, the hotkeys it's a bit strange at first but it's actually <laughs> very simple to use so the navigation is just left mouse button drag to orbit around middle mouse button to pan and right mouse button to zoom so first things first we just basically with this you're, you're always going to hover over whatever you want to affect with the mouse and then just press the hotkey so we're going to just hover over this edge and press C now strangely enough in Max you can see when I did that it selected the entire loop continuous loop but it hasn't done it here but it's still pretty quick so C, C, oh, sorry, and C. Now, these red edges are the edges you've selected, and these are kind of interpolated by the algorithm. And UV layout is the ones it thinks that you want, so you can keep them if they're suitable, or if not, you can press up here. You can see W, just hover over W, W. W, W, and that'll just remove them from your selection. Now uh, we can just press return or enter on the keyboard, and that'll split away to a UV shell. So we'll do exactly the same as we did in Max. Hover over this, C, return. Sorry, I wasn't hovering over. C, return. Just make sure your your uh, your mouse is over whatever object element or edge or whatever you want it you want effect so we'll hover over again see keep hovered enter now to split hover over D to drop D to drop and D to drop and we'll just add our, our last uh, seam here C and Split return and D to drop. Now uh, we can press U to go to the UV view. Now this is pretty simple and pretty great. We just hold Shift and then hold down F, and then you'll see it's pelting. And then you can just press spacebar when you're happy. So I'll just zoom out here. So Shift F, spacebar. Shift F and spacebar. 
Um, now you can see uh, you can see um, these red and blue. Blue and red means um, stretched and compressed. So what you can do if you want is you could uh, you could undrop this from the canvas. I think it's uh, Shift D, or undrop this from the UV view back out to the 3D view, and just cut these up again. But uh, I'm just gonna hover over this Shift F, and sorry, what am I talking about? Spacebar to stop. You can actually do it in here. Just C, 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 and you can see. The red area here, it's it's compressed, so we want to do the exact same cuts we did in Max. So I'm just pressing C every time. And we can shift F that again. And you can see the red fading away to green. Green is good. So that's very minimal stretching on that now. Space bar. what we do, I suppose we, if we want we can just go in here, Let's see, Let's zoom in a bit more, and see, see, there's no really need to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway, see, shift F, shift F, we're probably actually better off leaving the space bar to stop. I'm just going to undo those. It's actually it's fine the way it is probably better. Right so now we're going to um if you press uh the hockey here is, is three or checker view and then just hit T and then you can hit T again. And that'll give us you know a visual of what we've done so looking pretty good now when you're finished and you're happy you can just go up here and click send I'll pop that right back into max so we select the object and you can see a UV layout UVs modifier has been applied so we'll add an unwrap on top of that and open it in UV view now we'll do the same thing we'll um, scale oh I'll just select them all first scale pack and exit from that close that down and then we'll add this on I think I'll just uh, yeah I'm just gonna add uh, a quick color correction sorry I'll copy it first just whatever rename it something else and into the bitmap quick color correction keep the on map we'll just change it maybe to a purple or blue and then we'll apply this show map and viewport now we can get a comparison this is the headers this is max so I just want to go in here to configure viewports and uncheck display selector with edge faces and we will collapse all Now, I'll just close this down. You can see comparison between the two. You know, Max, it certainly has come uh, a long way. You can see it's almost identical, especially in these areas here. You know, it's practically identical. But uh, the thing about Hedis, especially with this script, makes it so easy it's just a much I find it a much nicer more artist friendly environment to work in so simple once you get these hotkeys here you can even have this floating it's beside you when you're working it's but you're gonna get used to it. you know it's just it's a very very intuitive as I say an artist friendly tool okay hope you uh, enjoyed a bit learned a bit and uh, maybe see you in the next one cheers good luck